Under the photograph icon on the left, there are three tabs for choosing a background for your selected slide. Let's take a look at each of them. In the first tab, you can do a search for a free image background. If you've entered text on your slide already, suggestions will pop up for you to search for easily by clicking or tapping them. You can also enter a word or phrase and click or tap search. Just select any of the results to set your background, and if you'd prefer a different background instead, just choose another. This is how any backgrounds work in Haiku Deck, whether they're a photo or not. To switch to something else, simply replace what's there. If you're on the iPad, you can press and hold any photos to save them in your favorites for later, and any images you've used previously are saved here in your history. These features aren't available on the web yet, but we're working on it. Let's say you want to use your own images instead of one from the image search. In the same tab you do searches from, just click My Pictures if you're on the web, or tap Import if you're on the iPad. Browse through your own photos on your iPad or computer, or pick photos from your online accounts with Facebook, Google Drive, Twitter, Dropbox, etc. Each of the online services will ask you to sign into your accounts with them, but you won't have to sign in every time after that. Depending on what theme you're in, the images in your deck might have a special filter applied to them. If you'd like to disable or change it, you can do so in your theme's browser. Use the image filter's toggle to turn it on and off, and try different themes for different effects. Repositioning and cropping your photos is easy. On the iPad, when you're in the background tool, you'll notice that there is a preview on your right. Use two fingers to pinch for zooming in and out, and one fingertip for moving the preview around. On the web, zoom in and out with the slider in the bottom right corner of your slide, and use the arrow buttons to reposition your background image. Sometimes, the default text layout won't work well with your background, so don't forget about the layout tool on the left for moving your text around. You might also notice that there's a semi-transparent band behind your text to help set it apart from your image. We call that the text background, and you can turn it on and off within the background tool whenever you want with the checkbox on the web and the toggle here on the iPad. To add a chart to your selected slide, head to the Chart tab in the background tool. When you choose a chart, if you don't like the default colors, you can change your theme to pick a different palette. With pie charts, entering numbers will automatically adjust the percentages for you. On the iPad, you can also drag the handles to adjust your pie pieces. For all three types of charts, use the plus sign to add more sections. Bar charts have handles that can be dragged easily on both the iPad and the web, and you can make tweaks to your chart settings by clicking the maximum value over here on the left. The last chart option is simple but effective. Keep in mind that you can enter text instead of numbers if you'd like to. Solid colors are available in the final tab in the backgrounds tool. There are color palettes here that change depending on which theme you have selected, and there are options at the bottom that are some of our favorite go-to colors. Sometimes you might want a different, unique color though, which is what the eyedropper tool is for. Use the ring on the outside to choose your hue, and the square in the center to choose your brightness. It may seem like a lot to digest at once, but always remember that you can make a test deck to play around in the background tool and switch between backgrounds to get some practice with your different options. Most users' favorite feature is definitely the Creative Commons image search though, since there are millions and millions of photos to choose from, and each slide in your deck will contain the license info and attribution during playback, making it super easy to be an upstanding digital citizen. Have fun, and if you run into questions, head to haikudeck.com and click help in the top right, or drop us a line at support at haikudeck.com. We're here for you.